Hi, here I am back, Raquel Alleman. Um, I have my guest here, my second guest. His name is uh, Stephen Hammond. Steve, how are you doing? Doing well, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, I see you brought plenty of books. Yes, I did. Uh, Stephen here is part of uh, our, the team, the, the group we formed, um, Arthur's, Authors and Artists United. And this young man is so talented. I mean, I can't get over Look at the size of this thing. Like, it's just an awesome, awesome read. He's got brought all his books. Uh, I think he's doing a what is it a series or a trilogy? What do you what it's do you call this? A, it's a whole series. Um, currently, the fifth book is being edited, and it should be out by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I'm shooting for. And when did I you also, start writing, Stephen? I first started writing in 2005. I did write back in high school, mm -hmm. but I took a break for about 25 years. And then uh, I just picked it up one day and started writing again. And I wrote that first book all mm -hmm. by hand, all my breaks, <gasps> at work. So it was... How, oh my goodness, how long did it take for you to write this? That one took me a good, like I said, writing it by hand took me about two years. So I was writing it in 15 and 30 minute increments. It's all done. How long has this been out? That one has been out since December of 2012. And then this was the second? No, or? this is the second. This is a novella. This one, the second. Oh, novella. Yeah. That was a little less ambitious with the size on that Rise one. Rise of the Penguins. The Warlord, the Warrior, the War. That sounds powerful. Um, so, Stephen, who do you accredit? I mean, like, how did you start writing? Did you always want to know? Did you always know you wanted to be an author? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I was very imaginative as a child, and my years in high school, I started writing short stories here and there. Um, I actually wrote my first Penguin story, which I think my English teacher didn't appreciate too much, but mm -hmm. that's where it all began. And then mm -hmm. the, that idea just kind of fell back on me as I got older in life. Are there any authors like that you accredit to that inspired you or that you admire or that you kind of like want to take after? Um, first and foremost was Tolkien. The Lord of the Rings trilogy was very influential on me. Um, after that I would say Richard Adams, his Watership Down. Um, you can see shades of that in my series. Um, who else? Yeah, those are the two biggest influences on me. That mm -hmm. and the artist Frank Franzetta. I had his posters all over my wall as a kid. Um, he did the artwork for the old uh, Tarzan series. Mm -hmm. um, well, as an author myself, I know how lonely writing can be, and I know how much up here you need. And those little characters are constantly moving and talking until you put them on paper, right? Or the same way? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. <laughs> I can't even sleep. Like, uh, the little characters are, like, telling me what's next or what's going to happen next. Yep. And you're the same way. I thought I was the only weird one. No, no. I'm always having voices <laughs> running through my head telling me this or that. And sometimes, do you get ahead of yourself? Like, you want to write the ending already, even though you just started? I just... I, or are you pretty much organized? You, uh, I'm not organized. I mean, I'll kind of outline it a little bit with some, you know, index cards. Mm -hmm. um, but that usually falls by the wayside along the way. Mm -hmm. And and like you said, I will write the ending first at times. I'll, I'll write it down <laughs> and put it aside and see if it fits in with the rest of the story. Then that, then I, I'm not weird because I do the same thing. This is another one, Rise of the Penguins, the Royal Creed. This one I think I would even like to read. Um, this is looks so interesting, and I saw the your web page. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I was like a young kid that I had all this time in the world, I'd get in there and read every one of them. Yeah, my good friend Joshua Muster, he took care of that web page for me. Mm -hmm. That's the fourth book. And this is the third book. Rise of the Penguin, Whispers of the Shadows. I actually have Isn't that a awesome? yeah. I actually have a video for that. I made a trailer. Mm -hmm. if you want oh, to run that. maybe we can play that right now. Can we play that right now?
Wow, that's very interesting. Yeah, it makes long. me want to go home and start reading. <laughs> That that is really good, uh, Stephen. Where can they find your books other than your website? Is there uh, stores like local stores that are carrying them? Or um, well, of course you can find it on riseofthepenguins.net, um, the usual outlets, Amazon.com and Barnes and Noble, mm -hmm. and occasionally a book barn in Clovis will carry some of my books. You can go in there and ask the ask Dan and the others if if they have it. Well, this is really good. Well. Um, why do you do you plan to continue with the penguin saga or are you gonna eventually get into something else? I mean, um I got about two or three about three more books in this series and I think I'm gonna move on to something else. Well, I know for a fact this takes a lot of brain and a lot of <laughs> talent Thank you. to do this. So I congratulate you and I wish you the very best. Thank and you. uh let me see if I can get the viewers one more quick look. Uh, oh, this one's a heavy. Oh, and and as we said before, uh, he too is going to give one of his books away um, for the one number caller. Would you want? Let's go to number eight. Number eight caller gets a free book from Stephen Hammond. Yes. The author. It was nice talking to you, Stephen. Thank you. You have a great day, and thanks for stopping by, and thanks for letting us interview you. Thank you for having me. Okay.